Coding a 3D engine is something I've always wanted to do. But I have no experience in 3D graphics. Because of my laziness and little knowledge, I'm starting simple. Now, if you want to make any sort of 3D thing yourself without any 3D engines like Ursina, don't. At least, not in Python. Use C++, please. Now, I would use my advice, but I'm currently learning it right now, and on article 2.2 .2 on learncpp.com, so I can't be bothered. A 3D engine basically takes 3D points and figures out where the points go on a two-dimensional screen, using complex math that I will not be explaining here. A 3D grid is basically three planes intersecting each other to create a coordinate system that goes into three dimensions, X, Y, and Z. If you want the math for how 3D works in the tech world, I have linked a great article in the description. So, let's work on the engine now. First thing I wanted to get up and running was the window everything would be running in, which was easy enough when I used the Pygame library. After I got the window working, I wanted to have a way to draw on the window. You know, it's kind of necessary when making something render 2D or 3D. I made this work by defining the points of a triangle and then drawing those points as coordinates on the screen. These points are not hard-coded into the draw function because we will change them later to make the cube spin. In the code here though, I first started making a single point on the screen. Then after I got that working, I made a triangle. When I got the triangle working, I moved on to 3D points. This defined the points for each vertex in the triangle in 3D space. I also added an FOV variable that adjusted the field of view, which adjusts the Z. Then, I added logic that converts the 3D points into 2D points and then projects it onto the screen. This works! Also, when I tried changing the field of view, that also worked. Next, I will implement the matrices that we multiply our coordinates by to change the position of our points. They are shown in the article I talked about earlier. Actually, this article helped me a lot in creating this. After I finished that, I added very janky camera movement and rotation to the cube, and my 3D engine was perfected. Here's a test. I spent the last five days adding faces, object loading, and lighting. The code will be on GitHub, but be warned it's very janky because I do not know what I'm doing. Thanks for watching, subscribe!